Hi everybody and as I promised you I'm going to do another tutorial on a Christmas theme. This is a Christmas card come present come brag book. <laughs> so we're trying to do Christmas cards with another theme which you can use for something else and keep. So this just has some pages in it. So one, two, three, four, five, six pages for photographs. You can make some half page pockets there and put a couple of tags in as well for journaling if you want to and I'll tell you how to do that when we construct it. The closure is just the ribbon that it's bound with and you just tie that into two bows and that seals it up. So to construct that you want two pieces of card which are five by five inches that you want fairly thick card there because you want it to be nice and strong and you want two pieces of card which are nine and a half by four and three quarters and then a coordinating colour card which um, can be eleven and a half by four and three quarters now if we take that longest one and score it at one inch five and three quarter inches and ten and a half oh I'm doing a bit of slipping around again that's that one on the two nine and a half pages we want a score at four and three quarters and that will give us our pages like that so the next step is to reinforce those folds, the two pages there, and then that long one, you want a valley fold in the middle and two mountain folds on those two short edges that will look like that. So let's start with these two pages here. And what you need to do is we're going to centre them into the cover, but first we need to attach that ribbon if you open up the nine and a half inch card with the mountain fold in the middle and then from on the crease line in the middle if you draw a pencil mark at three quarters of an inch top and bottom and three quarters of an inch top and bottom on the outside edge then you can make some just very faint lines like that so you know where the ribbon's going to go on the other one you've done that on the right hand side of the first one and on the second one you need to do it on the left hand side and again three quarters of an inch up from the edge top and bottom and three quarters of an inch oh trying to get away from me from that scored line faint pencil mark then what you want to do is pop some double sided thin tape, I've used very thin ribbon on this you don't need any more than that and that's quite cheap it doesn't cost very much it's only about 19p a, a metre that one or even 15p some of them so pop some just on your pencil lines now centre that tape on those do the other one the same so when you put your tape on both pieces the easiest thing to do, I want an eight and a half inch tail so pop your ruler on the side with your eight and a half inch mark there underneath the tape and then, I don't know whether you can see, I'll move the camera back a bit and then straight across with your ribbon like that. Again the same you can do on the bottom So the next stage, you want your ribbon side up, longest tails on the right hand side, shortest on the left. I'm going to do it with my ATG gun for quickness. You can put, I'd probably do it with scotch glue normally. I'm just doing this because it's quicker. Um, you want to make sure you've got plenty of glue on. My gun's playing up as it usually does. Don't ask me why it does it, but it does. I'm always doing this but hey ho that's the joys of crafting life for you so 
I wish I'd stop saying so, you know. There you go. So we're going to centre that. There you are, I'm saying so again. Into your cover. Centre that up as best you can. Stick it down. Shorter tails on the left hand side now. Once you've done that, you bring in the other card folded with the folded side on the left hand side and the open side on the right. Sticky tape upwards of course and pop that next to the white card there. From white card to white card, ignore the cover at the moment, white card to white card, about three eighths of an inch gap. You can see where your um, pencil mark is, that's where your ribbon's got to go and you know that that's level. And if it helps you can sort of make sure that the top and bottom of your white card matches up. But you have got your pencil line there to help you any way that you drew to know where your ribbon's going. So pop that across there onto the pencil line and again on the other side Whoop. so if you want to make pockets in those two centre pages now is the time to do it and stick it down uh, you want to make a mark two and three quarter inches top and bottom on the left hand side page make a mark down and two and three quarter inches in from the right hand side on the other side that's it and then a line down on that one that's where you're going to stick it glue that on the pencil line or put some ATG on it and you want to go across the outside bottom so now turn this piece over, the long piece, so that you've got the mountain in the middle, two valleys on each end and you're going to want to stick down each side pop this bit back in turn that over so that you've got the valley in the middle and two mountains on the edges line that up turn it over and line it up Ooh. stick that down get the other page that it's got to adhere to stick that one down lining it up like that then just pop that shut stick it down so now when you open it you should have your pages and you'll have your two pockets in there and in there.